I have a penny I'd like to sell. That is, whoa, not a penny. It's not a penny? Uh, no. The United States has never made a penny. Most people don't realize that. Uh, those damn Brits made a penny, but we've never made a penny. We've always made a cent. <laughs> and the reason why it's called a cent is because it's 1%, two different things. So we made cents. <laughs> It's an American coin, and it was minted just after we got our independence from England, so very old, 1791. I bought it from an individual about 30 years ago. I'd like to get at least $2,200. I don't think I'll take any less than that. Early American coins are an absolute nightmare to judge. You really have to know what you're doing, or you can make an expensive mistake. But if it is real, we could be talking a lot of money. Did you have an idea what you wanted for it? Well, I had an offer, that's 20 years ago now, but from a man who I think is still around, and, and he offered me $2,000 for it. Um, who knows? I mean, quite frankly, it's worth anywhere between nothing and God knows how much. So I'm going to give my buddy a call. I'm going to have him come down here, and he's going to look at it, and he's going to explain it to me and you, because... You know, I, I don't know anything about it. I just don't. I got a few minutes. Look around. Maybe there's just, you can spend some of your money. Thank you. I'm a bit excited. I think a second opinion is going to be great. It is a real coin. It is an American coin. It is early. And hopefully, he will see the value in it that I see on it. Or maybe more. Oh, fantastic. OK, well, th this is kind of interesting. OK, this is, uh, this is neither a coin nor American, but it's very important to the early coinage history of the United States. Um, this was actually struck in 1791, as the date indicates, uh, in Birmingham, England. Really? Yeah. Birmingham, England? So, this was actually manufactured with a very specific commercial motive. The United States Mint was not founded until a year after this was struck. In 1791, the United States Congress was working with all sorts of ideas about establishing a U.S. Mint. And one of the possibilities was that they were going to contract out the striking of coinage. Two enterprising Englishmen of the name Walker created the dies for this, and then they were struck at a mint in Birmingham. They shipped a keg, we know of one keg, uh, to their agents in uh, Philadelphia, and they distributed them to all sorts of congressmen, senators, VIPs. In other words, they were trying to win a government contract and the king didn't chop their fingers off or anything <laughs> for that. No, surprisingly. So is it real? Well, I'm going to check it with a loop just to make sure. It is, it's struck rather than cast, and it has the engrailed edge. The surfaces are correct. Everything about it is absolutely correct. This is genuine. OK, sweet. Um, and now, um, is it worth a million dollars? No. <laughs> <laughs> what is it actually worth? Based upon condition, they range from two or three or four hundred dollars up to three or four or five thousand dollars if you get one that is just in amazing condition. Uh, this this coin falls quite a bit short of that. This is the kind of coin that retails somewhere around seven hundred and fifty, eight hundred dollars. Um, and it will very actively sell at that level. Okay. Hey, not a problem. Thank okay. you. All right. All right. Best of luck. Thank you. Thank all you. Right. See you soon, man. As with all collectible coins, condition is incredibly important to determining value. This is a very nice coin, and it, it's worth a respectable amount. Actually, it's worth a lot more than I thought it was. I'd give you 500 bucks for it. I've still got a $2,000 offer on the table for it, and if I do, I have to check on that first. Uh, to negotiate at this point would be moot, because right, there's no way I would come near that. So see if the guy is still willing to pay you $2,000. If not, come back and we'll talk. I'll give it a try. We may see each other again. OK, have a nice day, man. Thank you. I think since I had a better offer before, hopefully it'll still be out there. 